we live in a world of slogans and we have always lived in a world of slogans. Think about um, back in the World War II era, about the posters that would be up about, yes, we can and buy war bonds and all of those things. Um, and then how marketing and advertising uses slogans, you know, political groups use slogans. But I think something that is newer are slogans in terms of our Christian faith. And perhaps you've heard or seen some of these things. Maybe they're on a t-shirt or a mug or a bumper sticker. It says, you know, Jesus is my co-pilot or you are enough or faith over fear. And I think the issue when we have, uh, when we reduce our faith to this bumper sticker mentality or this like slogan mentality is that we have a faith that is deep and nuanced and can't be communicated in just a few words like that. And so when we stake our claim on these catchy phrases, we lose a lot of the richness of what our faith is about. And so in Psalm 119, you remember that the psalmist was writing constantly about the word of God, about God's instructions, about God's statutes, about God's commands. He talks about how much he loves God's word. And then in Psalm 119, 133, he says, direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Now I would encourage us to have that be our prayer today, that our life wouldn't be guided by catchy phrases or the latest um, post on Instagram or Facebook, but that our lives would be directed by God's word. And that we would ask him not to let any sin rule over us. And that would be even the sin of shallow thinking or shallow theology. Our God deserves for us to love him with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And that means that all those parts of our body need to be engaged as we wrestle with our faith, as we follow God's word, and as we share it with others.